Hi, my name is Mary and I want to thank you for joining me here today. It's Sunday and it's uh, about 1030 in the morning. I feel like it should be later than that. I had an early start this morning. I'm taking care of some of my sister's pets. So I normally have two little birds and right now I've got, of course, my two little birds. I have a dog who just walked up right here. He's a really good dog. His name is Bear and he's a service dog. And I have a cat, Panther, who's laying by the window. And I have a fish, Fluffy. He's a betta fish and I think he's about three years old. Keeping my fingers crossed that he survives the uh, nine more days I think I have. So um, anyway, I am going to be here today to show you a completion and one in progress and two diamond paintings that I just received and also a diamond pen with accessories that I bought on Amazon that I'm very excited about. So let me show you first off this floral partial. I know I showed it to you I believe when I had just opened it or not opened it but before I started it and it's completed now. So this is the final picture painting and it's got a lot of special stones. I think it has nine and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to frame this. I originally thought that I would put the glittery tape around the outside and then um, maybe mount it on a foam board or a canvas, but I just haven't really decided. And this is a 30 by 40 centimeter. I believe that's the size of the whole canvas, not just the picture. But anyway, I wanted to show you that. And behind it is my portfolio booklet that I showed you. And um, I have another one on order because Timu had a sale, a lightning sale, and I got it for $6.17, and it's the A3 size. So I guess two of them is better than one, right? And then what I'm working on now is the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and I've gotten a little bit of it done, and I'll give you a close-up. This is the entire picture, and then I've been working in the center, and I've gotten, so far, a little bit done last night. So this is a 12 by 12, and I think it's really gonna be nice. I, I am definitely gonna frame this one and hang it up in my home. And um, I'll be working on this a lot today and tomorrow. So for my um, products, that I got. Let me show you this diamond pen that I got on um, Amazon and I'll link it below so if you wanted to find it you won't have a difficult time. So what it came with, it came with some glue squares which I didn't know that. It came with a regular size tray, it's not a large one. And it came with these screw on metal pieces that fit into the pen. Now the square and the round hole are, are metal, the whole thing. The placers, there's a three placer, I believe a six placer, and let me open this so I can get a better look at it here. Okay, so this one, is it marked? Sometimes they mark them probably looks like a 10 placer at least and it's got the metal screws or not screws but it screws into the pen and I'll show you the pen in a minute this one looks more like a six spacer and it's plastic it feels pretty heavy duty too it's not flimsy and then this is a three placer and it's nice. I think I'm gonna like the screw on because um, it'll be very secure. 
This one is the bent tip, the angled tip or whatever we want to call that. And then this one is the square and it's all metal. I don't know if it's stainless steel or what it is. Now what I put on the pen was the line straightener. It came with that as well and it screws on. So that's the line spacer. And I put the round the round one in. And this is not as fat as my other pen. Let me get my other pen. The other pen that I got, I like, but it's a little on the heavy side compared to this. This is lighter. This was the one that I purchased probably about a month or so ago. And this is the one that I just got. So there is a little bit difference in the thickness and in the weight. And that's what the tips look like. Let me. So um, anyway, it feels really good in my hand. And like I said, these easily screw into the, the either end, whatever tips you're using, and they tighten nice, and I don't think they're going to come loose. Um, it just feels really well made. I really, really like this. And I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I think it was around, I think I paid $9.99 for it. I know I didn't pay more than $10, but I will link that in my description box for you. <clears throat> and then, the other thing I wanted to show you are two diamond paintings. And one of these, and I don't know where these came from, but I was watching a video, a diamond painting video, and um, they put the link in their description and I went to that link. I had a discount code. I believe it was Jackie. And I bought two. And actually, it might be her because I think I bought the same one that she bought. I loved it so much. It's the Flamingos. And um, I will look it up to see what company, because I've ordered from a different, I've ordered from different companies and I just don't have them straight in my head. And the address label just says, you know, the address in New Jersey. It doesn't say who it's from. So. Anyway, let me pull this out and give you guys a look at it. It looks like these um, these diamonds are all pre-kitted. Uh, they all are labeled and they're all in their own little Ziploc bag. So that is super nice. That saves me a little bit of time. And this is just adorable. This is the Flamingo. It is a size 30 by 20. It's a small one. And it looks like this. So, um, thank you, Jackie. I, I'm pretty sure that was you that showed this flamingo. And I'm really anxious to see it if you finish it before I do. Um, and that one is that. It comes with the squishy, a white tray, and wax, and it also came with some tweezers and a spacer. So this is nice. So there's the clear pen. It has a spacer already on the end, and then it's got a spacer inside. This one's a little bit larger. And then it has some metal tweezers. They're pointy. And they're not real bendable, you know, so they're not super cheap. They have like a little guard on the part here to keep them closed. But um, that was nice. 
And so that all came with the Flamingo. The other one that I ordered, I'm very excited about. This one is a 30 by 40. Um, and oh, the Flamingo one has how many colors? The Flamingo has 30 colors. That's a lot. That's a lot for Flamingo. Um, it's okay, Bear. They're not home yet. He keeps looking out the window, the dog, to see if his owners are home. Okay, so this one is a uh, sea, seascape, I would say. Not exactly a landscape because it's looking over the sea. And it's colorful. It's got a rose in the front and a bird flying in the sky in the background. And um, I just think it's beautiful. I think when it's finished, it's gonna be really nice. It looks like the, um, the canvas, the drill field is clear. I don't see any problems at a glance. This is the um, picture thumbnail. And because I like birds, flowers, and landscapes and seasides, I couldn't resist this one. This one is not prepackaged. It's in its cellophane, uh, typical marked little containers or bags. And then it comes just with the typical boat wax and pen. So that's what I have for diamond paintings right now and then just off the cuff something I got when I picked up my mail and I thought I would share it I don't know if any of you use dry shampoos I never was a fan of them at all my daughter would use them but I just wash my hair a lot well lately my hair has gotten so dried out I've been skipping every other day but I notice sometimes like today it's a little bit starting to get oily and I haven't used this dry shampoo today, but I did pick one up at Walmart a couple months ago, and I read about it because I'm really nervous about the chemicals and stuff that they put in those sprays and also the hair loss that people um, have complained about after using their products. And uh, they did say that dry shampoos can thin your hair. Well, this dry shampoo I bought at Walmart and I ran out, so I went to Walmart to buy more, and there, it's nowhere to be found. So I went online, and I tried to order it from one online site that I used to sell jewelry on. And um, after I placed my payment, she sent me a note and said that it was gone, and she apologized. So then I went on eBay because looking it up, I can't find it anywhere. Um, I can't even find the company, really, to order it from. So, and that might be my fault, but anyway, I ordered it from a person on eBay and he shipped it immediately. And it was like $10 with shipping, which I think I paid $10 at Walmart. But anyway, it's got tea tree oil in it and it doesn't have a bunch of harmful ingredients. It's just got the typical stuff and, um, but nothing that's on the list is being dangerous. And I just wanted to share this because I hate things that have a strong scent, especially a lingering scent. And that goes with deodorants, which I don't use antiperspirants because I don't like the aluminum that's in them. So I use Native and it's supposed to be a lot better for you and doesn't have the aluminum. But anyway, I like unscented. That's my point I was getting at. Well, anyway, this dry shampoo, has a light, light scent of like a tea tree oil scent, but then it disappears within seconds. So you're not walking around smelling your hair and being disgusted by, you know, the chemically odors and stuff. So this is Anomaly, A-N-O-M-A-L-Y, dry shampoo. It really gives your hair body. I don't spray a lot in, but I'll put a little bit in and I'll immediately spray my hair because I want that fluffiness. Um, and like I said, it doesn't have a strong odor. I have birds. I have to be very careful about odors and that sort of thing. If you have birds, you can't have candles. You can't have Glade plugins. You can't have anything that might harm their little delicate lungs. 
and a lot of people don't realize that and it's very harmful for their respiratory system. So my house never smells real good because I don't burn anything and you can't use um, Teflon pans because once they heat up the chemicals from the Teflon can injure your birds or it could be fatal. So anyway, um, this is the anomaly and it is very hard to read because it's in like a gold, red, rose gold print. It's a dry shampoo and the ingredients on it um, have the typical, well, it has tapioca starch. Um, I can't read some of this stuff, so I'm not going to butcher it up, but you can look it up online and charcoal powder. It's got um, tea tree oil, tea tree leaf oil and blah, 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 blah. But um, anyway, if you want to look it up and check it out, and if any of you find it in your Walmarts, you know, you should pick it up if you like dry shampoo. So that's enough about that. Anyway, I don't have anything else to show you at the moment. I might do a whip and chat with the uh, remaining parts of my Sacred Heart of Jesus, but um, that's left to be seen. I'll I'll see if I'm going to be doing that or not um, later today. But in the meantime, you all take care. Have a good rest of the day. Be kind to everyone. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.